My name is Jean Francoise Mobiliki, and I'm the chairperson uh, of uh, the Private Sector Federation, uh, which is an organization representing the interest of uh, business community in Rwanda. And I'm also um, the CEO of uh, a construction company called EMP Limited with uh, 40, 40 years of experience. And uh, I'm also in uh, other different businesses where I sit on uh, different boards of directors. So beyond the office, I'm married. I have uh, one daughter and she's five years old. How do I get time to combine the business activities and uh, family life? Um, it's a matter of being organized and taking uh, care of each part of uh, the life. Uh, when it's time of uh, be, uh, being at work, uh, um, fulfilling the responsibilities I have, it's for that. But when it's time for the family time, again, at that time I, I try to do my best to not interfere with uh, work and really dedicate the little time I have to the family and make sure that I can uh, uh, enjoy it uh, at maximum. I can take you through my day. I woke up at 6 in the morning. Uh, it takes a few minutes for myself and then I wake up my daughter. Uh, once she's wake up, we take to, uh, breakfast together. Uh, she's uh, an, an, a morning person. She start uh, sharing uh, stories, talking to me, and yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time we spend together. Once we are done, we take uh, we prepare for school. I prepare her. And after preparing her, I prepare myself, and then we we leave home, and uh, we we leave home. I, I'm the one uh, um, bringing her to school, and then I leave her. It's a, a big hug in the morning. Spend a nice day. It's a, a really a nice a, a nice moment that I enjoy. Then I go to work, depending on the, the day. Sometimes it's uh, at the Private Sector Federation's office. Sometimes it's at my office at EMP Limited. Sometimes it's meetings. And um, I, I try to do my best during the day uh, as, well as um, I'm working. Then uh, I... I try to be at home by 7.30 in the evening. Meanwhile, uh, the dad picks her from her school, her, her dad, and they spend the evening together. So, and then 7.30, it's my time. <laughs> it's my turn with the daughter, my daughter. So I, every time I really rush to be at home at 7.30, Sometimes it's very difficult, but uh, when it's possible, it's, uh, it's really a good moment. We spend together 30 minutes before she, it's time to go to sleep. We she share the stories of the day. Sometimes we play a game together. I read her a story, and then uh, I bring her to bed. It's, I'm the one bring, um, yeah, who takes her to bed. Then after she sleeps, uh, I join my husband. It's our time as well to spend together and uh, to share our day and our plans. And then we try to be on bed early, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's rarely the, the, the case. Yeah, most of the time we go to bed uh, very late. Weekends are special. I tried my best to put uh, no walks in during weekends because uh, even if I'm, uh, I have take you through the the week, most of the time, sometimes I have evening meetings, so it's very difficult to have uh, enough time with the family. So I try my best to have the weekends free for the family, 
So Saturdays, um, a day, uh, it's a day with my daughter. We play together, we take time to go to the saloon, to wash her hair, my hair. We spend time together. So, uh, and then we do some uh, shopping for home. And uh, the evening we are with the, my husband. It's a family time. It's a really sun, a Saturday uh, for us. <laughs> yes, we are Christians. We pray in Catholic church. But we are not really, frankly, going to church. But we are, uh, so, so Sundays, most of the time, we, we, we have uh, other commitments with the, the, the family. We've, we, sp we spend time with uh, other members of the family, extended family, or friends, or weddings, or other, other things. Sometimes we go to church. Uh, yeah, so, but sometimes also I have meetings in the evening on Sundays, yeah, to prepare the week. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something I lost uh, five years ago. It's kind of uh, a choice that I made when my daughter was uh, still little, a little girl. I, I chose to, to maximize time with her than going to sports because going to sports was in the morning or, or in the evening. And most of the time, evening are not controllable. So it's, it was difficult. It was the morning. Morning and morning was the, my time with her to prepare to the, for the day. So I, I really make, made a choice. And uh, I'm trying to resume. It's my plan and it's in my uh, goals of 2024. So maybe next time we discuss, I would have achieved that. So when you are still young, for me, my, my suggestion would be Make sure you, you work the, hard, the hardest possible. Make sure you study the, uh, the most, you, um, as, as much as you can. And make sure you do sport to balance that. Because sport is really for making sure that mentally you are, you are awake, mentally you are fine, you, you think about uh, not only for work, on work but you you relax with sport and sport also make you feel fit active your muscles are, burned, uh, are very fine so you have energy so you have to combine for me you have to combine work with a sport when you're still young anytime you have to combine sport with everything but don't follow what I'm doing today but Sport has to be part of uh, balancing the, if you are working very hard. Hey, taking you back to school. <laughs> so I went to primary school at uh, Ape Rugunga. You too, oh, good one. <laughs> so I went to Ape Rugunga and then I joined uh, Lise Dokigari. After I said the Kigayi, I went to for um, university in Switzerland at Université de Neuchâtel, where I did my bachelor degree and I also did my masters in international business development there. High school, I did math physics. I have been raised in a family, a business family. Uh, so uh, my dad started the business uh, in '84. My mom joined the business when we were still young. So they, we, they, we, we grow up seeing them doing the business. Uh, the business. So for me, doing, doing, uh, being in a business community was something natural. Yeah, I didn't know anything else. So, uh, but uh, when I grow up, my purpose was to say, um, and my dream is, is still to continue the legacy that they have uh, built for us. So they were in the construction business, and they are still in the construction business. We are still working together. We have joined them uh, uh, as uh, me and my brothers, two of my brothers. Uh, others have worked in the businesses as well, but they left uh, by, by now. Um, and 
I'm very happy for the, at the level that we have uh, been able to bring the business today. We, we have challenges as everyone, but we have reached a level where we think uh, the business will be able to grow and pass to the next generation. Yeah. So construction has two parts. Construction is, uh, is a very passionate uh, sector. It's, uh, you build something from scratch and you see a result at the end. So it's really very good. But it's also frustrating because it has very uh, many challenges in the middle. You have to deal with them. But I, I have been always um, passionate by uh, seeing nothing. And then uh, you go on, you pass through the challenges, you fight. And at the end of the day, you have something tangible that you can see the results that can be used and uh, it, yeah, it's a passion. So for someone who has started a business and it didn't go through and they are discouraged today, I will tell them no business goes straight to the success in the, at first. You have to keep uh, pushing, you have to keep trying. Maybe you have to take a step back and really understand why it didn't, it didn't work, what should have been done differently. And also you have to look around what, how others are doing it. Uh, you are not the only one in the sector, maybe even if you are innovative. There is always something you can learn from other businesses in the, in the connected sectors. So uh, it's important to have a step back to understand why it didn't work and uh, know what you can do differently and see if you have to adjust the idea of the business or if you have also to change the business completely, maybe go for something that uh, is different. But most of the time, businesses that are coming to solve issues that are existing, that uh, are in the community, are the most successful. So I would tell that person, look for a solution to the, an issue, a challenge that is existing. So before joining the family business, I did, um, I did work for another, uh, another company. It was an investment company that had a different investment in different sectors. It gave me an idea of other sectors, how it is, it works, how it is uh, set, and gave me a possibility to, to choose uh, to join the family uh, business. So I will tell the person who is looking for how to choose, how to, make, to, to know their passion, how to know what they should be doing. I will tell them, choose at least three sectors, try. When you are young, that's what I was saying, when you are young, you have the possibility to try. You are, st and you have the possibility to work hard to be sure that I did my best to, for this sector or this um, um, profession and didn't go through. So I have time to adjust and change and try something else. So, but you have to make sure that you have tried your best for the, the, the thing you are about to change, not to, to, to go through after five years and say, ah, I should have done differently. Make sure that you have exhausted uh, all the possibilities and you will not regret. Success for me is when I will be seeing uh, our business go through the, the, the third generation, when I will see uh, my daughter growing with, um, how, how can I say, being some, um, getting a clear vision of what she wants uh, and being able to achieve it. And I really hope I will be able to see that. Clearly, it's a sector where the women representation is really very low, but it's possible. 
we have women uh, that are studying uh, construction um, uh, skills and so and pra practicing it, and we are very lucky. We are we have a country that has trust in women, which is make it very easy. So uh, what I can give as a tip is to trust yourself as a woman, not differentiate it, because the differentiation sometimes starts with us. Our, ourselves. So when you are in front of uh, a situation, don't think because I'm a woman I can do it. No. You are there to solve it. That's it. So don't differentiate yourself from others and then when you start by that, don't accept when they start differentiating, differentiating you to others. Rims uh, especially is to have more random businesses becoming international companies. My dream is to see uh, the private sector in Rwanda booming and uh, reaching the next level, achieving big projects, being able to, to operate in any country, not because limited by our resources or other things, but because we are capable. Uh, another dream is to, to do another master's degree. I'm still thinking about it, and I'm uh, currently looking at different specializations that I can do. Uh, it's always good to refresh uh, our skills and our knowledge. And um, there are many dreams. I used to have um, good uh, skills in terms of drawing, but I didn't practice it. So I really, it's difficult <laughs> to, okay, so. to say if it's a talent when you didn't really exploit it. Most of the time I do reading, I do meditation, but I, I also like to do the small drawings with my daughter. I like it. When I'm sitting somewhere, I'm waiting for someone, so most of the time I'm drawing something in my book, <laughs> not book. Yeah. My favorite book of all time was Chimamanda uh, American. That book was uh, talking to myself, uh, and I, I liked it how they, she, she traced the journey of being self-confident. My role model, there are many. All depends on which area we are looking at. Uh, when it's uh, about family, my role model is my mother. When we are talking about career, I, uh, I have many role models. <laughs> I really am inspired by um, Most of the women who have been uh, successful, I really like to read about them. Each one inspires me something. Not all, no, not the, how can I say? I, I don't really have a role model as one person. Each person can inspire me something. But uh, so men, most of the time, it's a combination of different role models. I think I took my time to choose and to make sure that uh, my choice was the right choice. So uh, when I met my husband, when we started to converse, we discuss, I really felt within myself that was my, the right person. And that was the thing that I was always asking God, God, it's very difficult to know who am I ready to spend my life with? So only you is able to give me that sign and give, tell me it's the right person. And it happened. And uh, I, I really think <laughs> it's uh, something many, many people tell. They tell that they have that feeling that it's the right person. And I think it's very personal and it's very, intentional as well to know when you meet someone 
you will make sure that you want to be sure. It's a matter of the feeling that you will have with that person, that it's the right person you are able to spend time with. If I'm advising my daughter about love, I will tell her to, to make sure the person she's about to choose is um, someone who give her the feeling of uh, being um, the right, a good person, someone who is uh, take, uh, giving her the passion to pursue the dreams she have, a person that gives uh, that confident and the person that she's ready to share as well, easily, without uh, looking for it. No, she's ready to share anything she has and she's ready to support the person to grow because we are all growing. So when you meet someone uh, at the beginning of your life together, it's important to know that you are ready to support the person to grow. So it has to be both sides. Yeah. In terms of career, what I will advise her, it's first of all to, to know what she likes uh, in terms of um, what is the, when, how can I say, when she's studying, to study something she really feels passionate about and to make sure that uh, when she's studying it, she can see herself practicing it. But also I will tell her it's not right and somewhere that what she's studying, it's what she's, she will do as a, a career. She has to, to be able to be flexible when, when it's time to, to go through, to be flexible when it's time to go through the career and to adapt to the situations as well. So I will tell her, make sure that uh, you like what you're doing, you put all your energy in what you're doing, and uh, make sure to have a vision of where you want to go, what you want to achieve. It's important to have a vision and dreams. As a woman, she should be um, confident in herself, in what she's capable of doing, she, could, she should be uh, able to, to know that others have achieved it. I think it's what we have to make sure as we are there as mothers and uh, in our generation, we have to open the doors for the, our daughters. And she also have to be sure that uh, the place she will be occupying she has to master, to master what she's doing, make sure that the next girl coming will also have the chance to go through it. So I will tell my daughter, you have the capacity, you have the possibilities, you have uh, your own chance to make sure you make your place, you make your, you occupy the right place and what, yeah, in this world. Nothing is, is closed for being a woman or being a, a, a man. You can do it. You can do it. It's, it will, can be difficult because may, maybe you have a, a different way of seeing things as a woman, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible. So you have the, some soft skills that you can use to take advantage of where you have uh, weaknesses. Yeah.